Well, hey friends, today I am sharing with you the bag that I keep in my truck that kind of holds all of the essentials that my family and I would need if we're ever in an emergency situation or we just kind of run out of something that we may need while we are out and about. This bag is from 31 Gifts and while it's a great bag, it was no longer big enough for what I needed it to be used for. So here I'm just kind of pulling everything out that I have inside. I've got clothes for the kids and myself. I've got extra jackets and hats. Um, that first thing was kind of, it's like a picnic blanket. There's toilet paper um, and all kinds of things. And so I'm just kind of pulling it out because it's time to update this bag, especially also for winter. Now that plastic bag is something that I'll show you a little bit more detail in later in the video, but it's a bag that I use uh, to take into restaurants and it's got a bunch of things for the kiddos to play with while we are um, in restaurants. So after I pulled everything out, I started to write a list of all of the things I wanted to make sure that were in the bag, some things that I just kind of needed to update, and other things that were not in the bag that I wanted to make sure uh, that we had just in case. This is a look at the bag that I am going to be using. It's called a Large Utility Tote by 31 Gifts. I love these bags. I have a million of them. Um, and it just holds a ton of stuff. So I'm going through all of the clothes and I'm making sure that what I have will actually fit the kids. Um, they both went through a bit of a growth spurt um, and I'm pulling out some of the spring jackets and I'm going to update with heavier winter items. We live in Northern Ontario, Canada, so it's really important that we have some nice warm clothes. So I'm also adding some socks and pants, shirts, underwear, sweatshirts, and um, a few towels as well. I had to laugh when I went back and I was watching this and editing it and I realized I put a lot of clothes in this bag. However, uh, both of my kids um, are at an age and a stage where they need lots of clothes if we go on some sort of a road trip. My daughter has a tendency to get very uh, car sick um, and at one particular road trip she threw up so much and went through all of the clothes that we had for her that we actually had to stop and buy her new clothes. So to kind of avoid that, <laughs> I'm overpacking. Um, and I've also added some winter gear here as well. I have a pair of thick uh, work gloves as well as some hats and one of those as you saw was a hunter orange hat so that if we're in the middle of a blizzard someone, my husband or myself can be seen if we're wearing that. I'm also adding toilet paper and paper towels. I've got some hot hands and Kleenex. And I'm just sticking those in a little baggie so that they don't get lost. And of course we've got some diapers for my little guy if he needs those. Now this is my restaurant bag. This thing has come in so handy for my little ones when we go out to eat. It's kind of a rare occurrence for us, but when it does happen, I want to be prepared. So. You know, you go to a restaurant over the dinner hour or when you're hungry and it's really difficult sometimes for little kids to just kind of understand that concept of waiting for dinner. So in this Ziploc bag, I have all kinds of toys and little books and all kinds of things that the kids can play with and occupy themselves until the meal comes. I've got a bib for my son. I've got, that um, is a roll of crayons, I've got little toys and trinkets, I added some extra napkins because goodness knows it never feels like you have enough napkins when it comes to toddlers and little kids. Both my kids love Legos, so I decided to just fill a little sandwich bag with some Lego pieces. These were actually kind of floating around the living room and hadn't been scooped up and put back with the, um, the Legos 
normally. So my I just had the kids pick them up and give them to me and I added them to the restaurant bag. I've also added this I Spy book and then these two really awesome activity books um, my sister-in-law gave my kids. They are colorful and they're super fun and absolutely perfect for a restaurant. So this little pouch is something that I set up over the summer and this went inside of our beach bag. So I'm actually going to use it for the winter and stick it in my truck. So inside I've got a little safety pin with some hair ties and bobby pins attached. I've got spare change, Advil, this little mini first aid kit and I did go through and make sure that everything was up to date and we had enough band-aids and everything like that. I've also got some gravel in there, an extra diaper, wet ones. Um, I like to keep plastic baggies on hand because you just never know. Tissues, after bites, some hand cream, a pen and hand sanitizer and everything just fits nicely inside of this little bag and that's also some um, SPF lip balm, um, a charger and more pens. So when it came to organizing the bag, I kept the things that I might reach for the most on top of the bag and the things that I would need probably not as often on the bottoms. And then I just went ahead and used a topper uh, that you can get from 31 Gifts as well. And it just will keep out the dust and dirt and my little kiddos because this bag goes in between their car seats. And lastly, I added this cute little Scentsy Buddy. He actually smells super great, so he makes the truck smell great, and he's just a cute little decoration. So that is my vehicle to go organization bag. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas of things that I should add to the bag, please let me know. I would love to hear your suggestions because I love to be prepared. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.